Hunter Biden, he's back in the news and not for his world-renowned artwork. Now, tonight, the president's 53-year-old son is attempting to dodge what is a House subpoena. Now, Hunter's lawyers say that their client is willing to only appear for a public hearing before the House of Representatives, not a closed-door deposition as the law requires. Now, if you or I were to receive a subpoena from Congress, we would be forced to comply or we would be facing possible jail time. But Hunter seems to think he's above the law. Now, well, I wonder where he got that impression from. Maybe it was the attempted sweetheart plea deal with David Weiss or David Weiss allowing the statute of limitations to pass, or maybe his daddy's DOJ running out the clock on many of Hunter's serious tax violations or Hunter's ability to purchase massive quantities of drugs and hire foreign prostitutes with zero legal consequences whatsoever. Or possibly it was all that money that Hunter took in from America's geopolitical foes like, you know, uh, Russia and China and Romania, et cetera, uh, while his father was in a position of great power and great influence, all while apparently not paying uh, quite a bit of money in taxes and on a lot of income. And that has to be resolved. And all of this for work that he has zero experience in at a time where he was admittedly addicted to drugs. But while the very liberal and biased and politicized and weaponized Biden DOJ drags its feet, the Republican House is taking action, contrary to what Democrats would have you believe. The GOP's impeachment inquiry into Joe Biden is very serious. Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer, who will join us in a moment, is investigating legitimate claims of corruption through closed-door hearings, financial forensics, and other inquiries. Hunter, meanwhile, is attempting to turn this into a political charade with a public hearing, but still Comer is more than willing to give Hunter uh, his circus. But first, that closed-door deposition would still be required as ordered, including, by the way, documents handed over. Uh, that's the subpoena. Hunter must comply, of course. This is all part of Hunter's big new, what they're calling, legal strategy to fight back, according to Politico today. For years, as Hunter Biden faced a protracted criminal probe, he was told to cooperate with prosecutors and wait quietly for exoneration. That strategy, favored by veteran Democrats, failed. So now he's, quote, directly taking on his adversaries with lawsuits and other legal threats. Now, some might call call this a campaign of intimidation. To others, it might look like desperation. According to another report, White House staffers, they are extremely irritated with Hunter for not clearing this new strategy with the Biden White House. And Democrats on Capitol Hill are also unhappy with two unnamed lawmakers calling Hunter's new offensive strategy all risk, no reward. This comes as one of Hunter's friends is worried that the Democrats are now eager to use the president's son as a sacrificial lamb in this case. The big question tonight, is Hunter willing to tell the truth about his father, or is he willing to maybe take on the fall himself? And for Republicans and other logical people around the country, well, this scandal is not really about Hunter, about Hunter's struggles with addiction. This is about the big guy, in other words, the real brand, and that would be Joe Biden, who allegedly used his struggling son to fill up the family coffers. Was, was Hunter, for example, selling access and influence to that Biden brand so that Jill and Joe Biden could afford this, you know, beautiful beachfront uh, uh, estate in, in Delaware, live uh, in luxury on a senator's salary, and according to James Comer, pay 10 family members what ends up to be tens of millions of dollars. Middle-class Joe and his wife, well, they love to portray themselves as living a middle-class lifestyle, but it appears that image was not quite accurate as Joe was buying expensive Corvettes and, again, that beachfront property. And now let's see what the Bidens do. Are they ready to throw their own son under the bus? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.